G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to The Walking Dead in 7 Days to Die, where today is a big day because I'm straddling a motorcycle and heading over the horizon, it's a big day of adventure. I'm currently doing my utmost to get all of my base happening before I go. I need to go and find the winter biome, somewhere with a better loot stage than the desert I currently live in. I have to find some better weapons. I have to find my AP762 book. Got to find my August schematic as well. There's like a thousand things I need that the game refuses to give me. So I'll keep up in the stakes, hoping to get better rewards. Although knowing my luck, I'll just like bet all of my money and lose in one hand and go home crying to trade a gen. No, I didn't even win her either. I can't win anything. But today, I'm hoping to change all of that. Before I go, I need to chuck on a whole bunch of fuel into my forge to smelt all that brass in. I'm going for a while, so sod it a whole hour's worth of fuel. There you go. In fact, I'll take you guys out of there real quick. And I've got a shitload of brass, so make me all the casings in the world. Crack on. It's almost 4 a.m. I can't leave until I've gone and talked to Trader Rex. But he doesn't open for a couple of hours anyway. I am going to be seeing a couple of traders today, so I'll take one sugar butts with me just in case and my magnum and whack them in my motorcycle down here in my new beauty garage. It's a little bit rough at the moment, a little rough around the edges, but functionally it works a treat. You can hold on to that and that and just lock all three of yours in. So I've got food, I've got fluids. I will take some more ammo with me just in case. I've got a little bit of uh, pistol ammo and not a lot of rifle ammo, which is <laughs> worrying to say the least, but see how we go. <sighs> I just gotta, I gotta make it back in time before the next hog. I have to craft up the ammo, assuming I find the book. I have to do all those things before the zombie hordes get here. It's very bloody important. I don't forget that. So before Wrecked opens as well, I'll just duck on out and hit up the local grocery store, also known as a vending machine. My dietary uh, habits are not particularly great, but judge me not. The world ended a long time ago. More sugar butts, thank you. Don't need anything else in there. I was just making sure. Although you do have... Adam junkies, and I've been struggling to kill the zombies in my big bu uh, grenade bucket down below. So maybe it's about time I start buying some Adam junkies as well. I don't have a lot of dollar redos. In fact, I need fifteen fifty to afford a book. So fingers crossed he doesn't have it at the first trader. <laughs> if he's got it right there, I'll, I'll sell my left nut. I don't care. I need that book. My frame rate has gone absolutely to piss, but I'm just trying my best just to see what's coming for me. Nothing in the vendor. Oh my goodness gracious. It's like swimming through, through syrup. I was going to say, I saw the flutter. I saw the shadow in the sunlight over there. You sneaky kid. Coming out of the sunshine like I've been practicing dogfighting tactics. Clever bird. Oh God. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just checking. I was just having a look to see if you still had a weapons bag in there or not. I was just riding my bike past and I thought I saw something. And apparently I woke you all up. Okay, well, so we can play that game. No, I can't jump with the aiming down the sides apparently, which is a bit upsetting, but... I can just shoot through... Oh god, g'day. Just shoot through the bloody, um, what do we call it? The chain link fencing, even though the tarps are. Kind of makes sense. Tarps aren't really known for being bulletproof, but it still surprised me because seven days go to seven days. Stop it. Go away. And then for your little friendo over there. Oh, that was your friendo. Okay, never mind. Well, they're all dead now, so I can go and get the bag. That was not really how I saw it going down, though. Oh, yes, good. And some tier six scrap boots, which I can use my... I scrapped one can and I found with it. Repair you. Uses all of that. Doesn't quite get you a maximum, but that's okay. I've got more at home. Weapons bag. Mm, nothing. Nothing. That's okay, though. I mean, it's basically a freebie. Give me the tier six boots as well. That's worth like three and a half grand later on. Got to swing around the long way to go into my garage. I want to dump all that stuff just into my dump boxes. Here we go. Dump one. Chuck. Oh, no. Don't chuck you guys in. I'll leave you behind, actually, because I need to chuck them into my sellables box. I'll hopefully remember that they're, uh, they're there even later on and out the other side. Okay, I do have, just make sure before you go, Josh, I've got spare fuel. I've got my magnum, which I'll just quickly swap over for now and put you in my inventory in case there's something I can buy. Very shy on dollar dues though. Is the poorest I've been for a while, which is how I know that the trader's going to have something worth it. He wouldn't have anything valuable when I could actually afford to buy it. Always check your vendor too. It's part of the trip. XP Gogs on. Adam Junkies, another one of you. 
<sighs> Damn it, now I have to go back and drop that back off at home again. Oh, well, whatever. I now have $1,300 we do. It's not very many at all. What do you have for me? Do you have anything good that's actually going to tickle me giblets at all? Or just a whole bunch of nada as per usual? Got some mods. Nothing good, though. A couple of bullet tips and a little bit of gunpowder, but not really that much. Mm, no. And you've got acid. What do I need acid for? I needed acid for something, and I've immediately forgotten what it was. I was really annoyed I didn't have any. Okay, well, try and keep your eye out for acid as we go forth then, Josh. Because I need it for something. I've just forgotten what it was. He's got Magnum Enforcer 5, which is AP44 ammunition. So, you oh. And a tier 3 sniper rifle. The whole reason I'm going to a different biome is to try and find one of those. And, of course, you have one for so much money. Holy shit, 50 grand for a solar cell as well. That's a fair chunk of bunts. Okay, so I need to multiply my current wealth by tenfold. That's going to be a problem. But you're doing... You're doing 70. Okay, so if you're doing 70, what are you doing to start with? So what I currently have is actually better than that? A tier 5 lever actually is better than a tier 3 sniper rifle? That is a recipe for disaster. I'm just going to quickly make sure of that, though. You don't have any mods in you anyway. You're doing 86. And yeah, the uh, sniper's only doing 70. And it's got the bigger magazine size, though. How many rounds does it hold in the mag? Uh, you, sniper rifle, 12 compared to 6. So, like, DPS-wise, damage per second-wise, it's better, but it's not that much better. I, I'm, no, I don't want to buy that. That's a piece of shit. Fuck you, Rex. Just going to check your not-so-secret stash. I flipped me gog, so this is the normal, normal one. I suppose it's still tier 3 or better barter. 4x4 four four. truck accessories. No, I'm looking for gyro stuff. I saw accessories and got excited. Don't need contact grenades either. And a double storage pocket mod. So nothing really in you that excites me either. I could buy the ammo, but it's only 141 rounds, which is not that many. And it's super bloody expensive. Nah, nothing else in here is what I'm after. All right. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. All right, I'm going to go home, drop off those Adam junkies back at the prison, then skedaddle up north. Waste a bunch of time this morning already. I have to get to a new biome, get to a new city. Hope there's a city nearby somewhere there. And find somewhere to bunker down. I'm going to find a base today. And I haven't even left my first one. I'm just going to head up through, like, my normal town up north through here. And keep my eyes out for any sort of ATMs or anything. Can I just run over a rabbit? Oh, sorry, Flops. Anything that's going to give me... is an, uh, a vending machine just over here. I'll quickly check you. And it's going to give me a cheeky bit of coin. A bit of bunts to make my life a bit better. Nope, you're not working. That vault is still flapping about, though. Come on, hurry up. Time is of the essence. What have you got for me? Mm, scrap you, scrap you. Yeah, anything around here that can give me some coin. I really need it. I made it to the end of town, so I'm just going to hang a Louie and head on out to the other trader wreck. Hit him on the way through. It's a bit of a squiggly line, like a Mr. Squiggle with a pencil for a nose. But I'll get to where I'm going eventually, as long as you just piss off and leave me alone. Yeah, oh, are you coming in as well? Are you mad at me or you're biding your time? Oh, you vulture bitch. Lurking around waiting for me to take my eye off ya. I mean, stand of practice for you, I suppose. Cheeky god bag in the bushes over here because <laughs> that's a rather glamorous death. You just got like skewered by some grass apparently. I don't know, maybe this is like razor weed and you got cut up on your shins to the point where you had a very dramatic death. Ooh, another bag. Thank you very much. A bit of a prima donna death over here, but that's okay. Loot and specs are on. Scrap you. I'll take you with me in case I need you later on. Arlene, please give us a little bit of time and space. I'm dealing with Loz's bag at the moment. Scrap you again. Take the food. I mean, free food's always good, especially where I'm headed. Here's the other wreck. Pull up out the front. There is another town right there, actually. Is that the town that, that other train is going to be in? I guess we'll find out when we get there. And actually, have I even, like, have I raided... This guy's compound? No, I haven't. That's a little silly of me. You're worth a bit of coins. So I'll take you to sell. Scrap you guys for the iron. What's in you? Can sell you as well. Jeez, now you give me schematics left, right, and center. I know your game, Seven Days to Die. You're like, hey, if we give you a bunch of schematics, you'll forget about the August schematic that you need or the AP ammo schematic that you need. That's not how this works. I need what I need. Give it to me. Not much in his vending machine either. I will chuck on my nerdy glasses and grab my magnum out. So you were worth 200. Now we're 216. Bargain to bargain. Money in here, are you? 
I definitely am not. Ignore the fact that it's my face on the dollar redos and no one else's. Oh, worse are lucky gogs. I've got tier fours at the moment. I want to sell you that one and that one and that one. That gives me a nice even $2,000 redos. Come on, please. I have enough now. Now you can offer me something good. There's a bellows. I've, I bought the bellows schematic, didn't I? And I forgot to make an extra one for my ammo forge back home, which is rather silly of me, but I'll fix it up when I come back again. Batter up, volume seven. You're only worth $1,000 and I haven't even popped the sugar butts yet. Learn how to craft a middle chain mod. I mean, no. And I'm also not using bats, but thank you for the offer. Barrel extender, I have one already. Another batter up book. Jeez, you're really shoving it down me gob. Craft steel clubs as well. Auto shotgun, another 10 grand. But if I don't have the sniper rifle, well, this is probably freaking terrible anyway. Chainsaw, shotgun, turret, engine... Mmm, nothing oh, fun. Huh? Nothing well, fun at you all. Check your not-so-secret <laughs> one. A flat-out gyrocopter for 100 Gs. A tier 3 auger for 10 grand. I'd buy that rather than buying a sniper rifle. Blade weapons do 10% more damage at night. That would actually come in handy for Horde Knight if I'm using the spear. But I'm kind of beyond using melee for Horde, I think. I'm more relying on shooting him in the head than stabbing him in the head. And you've got nothing else. All right. Well, how about you <sighs> Don't say I didn't try. I gave it my best crack, but we're headed up north. You are just a pit stop on something real. Just gonna get a little bit of space from all of the zombies that were clamoring around the entryway to a wrecked place. Don't know why. You got no brains in there to eat anyway. So I can the zombies catch Homer and get annoyed that there's no food. Uh, I need to go get you. Track that quest. Yep, 1.5 kilometers directly where I'm headed. I'm coming for you, Trader Hugh. I hope you're ready. Oh, sorry, Chuck, I just clipped your wings. What is that place? That's somewhere new that I do not recognize at all. It's not from this angle. I may have been there once in the past, but whatever I'm looking at from here doesn't ring any bells big or little inside my head. This is a really big town as well. I definitely turned off the mega city generation. This is just, this world is apparently just chock a block through gigantic worlds and I am definitely here for it. I love big cities in this game. Look how strong and massive this thing is. Trying to run into the fence by your ogle in the scenery though, Josh. That's huge. Filing on the road to Trader Hugh, and Hugh has that cool compound that's actually got a lot of useful things inside it. Oh. Oh, hold on though. Look at the- <laughs> I'm such a fucking loser. Look at that road! It goes up and over the bridge and continues on down the other side. I mean, look, I know I'm supposed to be heading north and far to the winter biome, and I'm oh, pa uh, passing gas right there. Y yeah, okay, it's a relatively quick raid, and there's an AT here at the front, and I need the cash. But as soon as I'm done with you, there's the winter right there. Okay, look, if I'm basically there already, I'm going to drive down this road, cruise down Main Street, because it's long and right to the guts of the city, and I just really like it. I want to go cruising on it and see where it leads. <laughs> this ATM, definitely haven't been here before. It is definitely locked and full of gubbins, so I can use the time and charge at this time and not feel like a scrub when I completely destroy it because I just forgot where past Josh has been. You only need the one that I finished off with the pickaxe. Make sure my loot and specs are on to get all the gubbins out of them. Come on, give me some cash. Give me some good cash. Hold on. $1,200 redos. Thank you very much. And this time around, I will chuck down a block out the front. So future Josh for all generations will know that I've been here before. Well, if I got the block down, I better raid the whole place itself or just leave it half untouched because then I'll just never come back to it ever again. Set all that into frames, by the way, because I am actually running out of frames more often than I'd like to. Hello, hello. No one in the first room. Should be some Muppets. Yep. Hanging out in the next room. Come through the door, please, and come and gag on me speed. It's big and purple. It's the first big thing I've had ever. <laughs> Arlene can attest that. Look how knocked out she is. She saw me the big thing. She's absolutely floored by it. Her new boyfriend is as well. Another schematic to sell. Did find a couple of motor tool parts too, which are relatively valuable. In fact, you're worth 200 smackers there too. Happy as. Scrap you for the iron. Wait, actually, is this the place... I get yelled at in the comments a lot because I, I neglect to loot everything in some of the POIs, but it's good though, because that's how I learn where some of the more harder to find secret stashes are. Take everything out of you. My frame rate has gone to gelatin, so there's probably a wandering horde coming my way. Extra coffees. I'll probably just throw you away, actually. Could have left you as weights and sold you. No, don't need you, don't need you, and mm, scrap you. Think we're good. Okay, I'll grab the stuff up the top. Is it that? 
I get told that there's something like above the main kind of entry where I park the car out the front, so... Oh, there's a Derpo. Okay, hold on. Hold on. No, shit. Hold on, Derpo. I'll be right bloody there. <gasps> there is something secret in here. Are you weak? You are. Oh, come on. Be weaker, please. Then get out there and see where the plume is. Piss off. Oh. Is it just this? Okay, I... Listen, I was oversold in the game under-delivered. I was expecting much more, but... All right, I guess it's better than nothing. There's the Derpo too. But it's back where I just came from. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not Boo and Mark Wazowski is not singing to me. I don't need to go back where I came from. So you don't need to help me. Uh, I'll, I'll mark you up anyway. You actually look relatively close. So it's in that direction. So you... Gonna go here. That one is gonna go Derpo scene. Because I don't know what number it's gonna be. Derpo scene. And then like there, I suppose. That's more or less the right direction. No one's coming for me. We're good. I'm just gonna mark it like that. And we'll figure it out another day. We'll figure it out another day. I've got bigger fish to fry. Like a goddamn Murray Cock. Let's do this quickly, fam. Open the door. But leave the door open, please. And then just wait for you to come to me. Like that. I don't have time to waste. Like, oh, I missed you. Somehow Miss Trippetton is right in the front like the muzzle was poking through her head and poking out the back. You might have been a bit vigorous there, Chief. We'll probably have to pay a bit extra for that one. Uh, loot and Gogs are on. Shock of Messiah box. These are things to sell, and I'm shocked as a whole bunch of other shits. I came here to find loot. So far, it hasn't gone very according to plan. Eat you, sell you, sell you. Just gonna have to make up money wherever I can. Nothing good, just some shotgun parts and assorted garbage. So we're done. Let's get back upstairs, go and see Trader Hugh and see what he's got to offer us. Up and out. Okay, we might make a little bit of, uh, a little bit of bank. I don't think Hugh generally has most of the stuff I'm looking for. Wait, which is the one that normally sells books? Is it Hugh? It may well be. Take the extra fuel out of you. All right, Huey boy. I'll come and have a chat to you. But to raid your compound as well and find more things to sell. Then it's... Look at that road. Straight down that road. See what's at the end. Then off into the cold stuff. Make sure we grab that munitions box right at the top. Ooh, I don't have one of you yet. That is a good time. Um, I don't... Oh, jeez. I've got a whole bunch of random shit on me that I can't want to just get rid of. I might go and chuck... Hang on. I'll go and chuck a few things in the bike so that I can free up some space. Things I don't want to sell, like the drinks and stuff, just taking up room. Got inventory space in the motorcycle, so I'll make use of it. But that uh, wood splitter mod is the one specialist, like, tool mod that I don't have yet. I've got my grave digger. I've got... Well, I don't have rock busters either. Not rock busters. Gra um... Is it rock busters? The stone mod. I've got the iron one, but not the stone one. And now I have one for the axe too. Good get. I'm, I'm stoked with that one. It's already almost 2 p.m. and I haven't even made it to the city in the snow yet. Uh, yep, loot and gogs are on. That I've already raided you anyway. You modify. I'll take out the weighted head. Chuck in the um, what's it called? The what's it called again? The wood splitter mod. And then into you. No, you're full. All my stuff is chockers. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I'll just hold on to you for now. Then if I find a better ratchet at some point, I'll stock you up with mods, but we don't have to deal with it for now. Fair play then, lad. Let's go and check the other stuff around here. Any more schematics for me? No. Grab this other ammo box as well while I'm passing through. Come on. Yep, go quick. Um, 20 bucks. I'll sell all that shotgun ammo, actually. It's worth 250, and I need that more than each shotgun rounds. Got plenty more of them back home. We'll go down the well, grab the gubs down below, and then we'll go and see Trady. Please have something good for you. Please make this worthwhile. Ooh, another chemistry station schematic. Thank you very much. And we'll check the last little box at the end here for more motor tool parts. Okay, that's not too bad. That's like another 200 bucks. I might make another thousand or so. I will check to see what he has in his stock before I pop the, the sugar butts, but I'll probably end up using it anyway. In fact, I might even sell one. All right, now I won't use it anyway. If I don't want to use it, I won't use it. G'day, bud. Good to see you. I'll deal with you in a second. He also has his gun safe behind his box as well. So, could be some more gubs there too. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get me inside on the zeros. There we go. Right, loot and specs on. Everything's looking pretty. Ooh, a tier 4 hunting rifle that I can... You're not worth much. If I had a repair kit, actually, that'd be really bloody good. In fact, I've got some glue. I can't break down the workbenches inside tradies. I should have broken down... Actually, it's just across the street. 
Okay, you hold on two seconds. I need to go break down one of the workbenches across the road. We get some forged iron out of that. I can make a repair kit. We can repair that rifle and get some more money for it. Um, what am I? What am I crafting here? Oh, that's right. I need to make duct tape because I have a little bit of glue. There we go. Just the one. Only one repair kit. That'll do me. I know I'm wasting so much of my time, but I'm just trying to do this as well as I can. Playing this game good, Lee, is not really my strong suit ever. Let's do this quick. I don't have time. Quickly, quickly. There we go. There's that. That's all I needed. Repair kit. I'll break down the rest of it anyway because I'm already here. Plus, if I need some repair kits later on, it would be a bad thing to have. All right, bud. I've come and I've gone and I've come back again. Uh, that's now repaired. Worth 600 bucks. So definitely a good option going and repairing it. Uh, I've got my XP gogs on. Thank you for the extra XP. I appreciate yes, what What do you mind. have to sell me? I'm not going to pop the, the sugar bites as I absolutely need to and buy something worth my time. A lever action that's only as good as... Wait, so why is a tier 3 lever action the same as a tier 3 sniper? Are they the same stat? Like, what the fuck is going on there? That seems wrong. A tier 3 lever, like the same level lever action as sniper rifle. Sure, the sniper would be a higher level. That's a little confusing. Something seems amiss with that one. Oh, it's hacky boy. Tacky boys are fun. I don't know if you're going to be better than the tier 5 AK I had back home, but I very rarely get to use a tacky because they just don't really show up all that often. Lots of AKs, lots of gubs. You are like a weaponry guy. Something worth keeping in mind. What's in your secret stash though? Cooling mesh schematic? No. Mini bike? No. Armor? No. Lucky looter? Medical supplies? No. Solar cell for 60 grand? Probably fucking not. And nothing else. Damn it! Alrighty then, on your way. This isn't quite going how I thought it was going to go. We're making not so secret stash. Ooh, it's here. One impact driver. I don't think I need that. I think my my um my regular ratchet's going to be better. What are you doing? 61 compared to well, 70 with a couple of mods in you. So yeah, my my ratchet's better. Never mind then. And nothing else. Damn it! This is this is not good, traders. Well, I think just to free up my inventory space and just get on with my life, I'm going to pop the sugar butts. I hope we're going to find some more at some point and sell all of these. Threaten you with the magnum like the good survivor I am. Take all of that, all of that, all of that. You can take that one, both of those actually. Uh, all of that and these ones. How much are you going to give me? Like five grand? Wow, just from just like scavenging a couple of things? That's actually going pretty well. All right, that'll do. Is there something else? Yes, so many things. I could scroll enough of a shopping list to repaint your walls with wallpaper. But instead, I'm going to split the gap through there. See you later. And finally, after all this time, it's a half past four. Head down this big road. I need to go to the snow. I need to find the town in the snow and find somewhere to bunker down. But I just want to see how big this town is. Having one big straight highway through the middle is too tempting not to go down. Ooh, there's a cracker book. But we are in the pine forest. Which means that the loot will be terrible. Now, nope. ignore the temptation, Josh, and keep on trucking. Oh, what? Hang on. Does it... In the distance, there is a town hall. So this is like an entire road in the middle of town, heading directly to the steps of the capital. God, I love the new city generation so much. That's awesome. Look at that. That's sick. I can't help it. I'm going to ride all the way down and go and talk to the local representative about how wonderful this layout is. Right down the main thoroughfare. What else is around there? Any other like cracker book stores or anything for me? Just to have a bit of a grasp of what's on offer. Dance studio, one of those new uh, construction sites. Oh. Well, I take it back then. You were doing so well. Look how long we came and then jumped... Just like anything, you know, like, I was like, hey, I'm going to go and talk to the local government. And then what we least expected, there's a fucking hurdle right in your way. Or maybe instead of complimenting you, I'll fucking talk some shit about you. That's horrendous. Um, hold on just a moment. Arlene, yeah, I know you're coming over to have a chin wave, but I'm a little bit busy right now. You can't, mm, hang on, listen, you can't see it when I'm looking directly at it. you got to use your peripheral vision. On the, if I don't go like this way. On the very left hand side of the screen, right below my face, so like right there. That hill looks like wasteland. Oh, and the scope, you can definitely see it. That is, that's, that's honest to goodness wasteland. Fuck the winter then. If I can go to the wasteland, higher game stage, higher loot stage, higher gubbin stage, that's going to be a much better idea. Okay, well, yeah, look at it. It's right there. Ooh, okay. 
big change of plans. We're not getting frosty. We're getting radiating. Just going to cruise along the edge of the wasteland here. Keep an eye out for any cars like this one that might be right there right for the picking. Because, hey, cars have really good things in them. And having a high loot stage in the wasteland means you might find even better gubs again. What's in... <laughs> Way to make an utter fool of me, game. I was talking you up and singing your praises and you give me that kind of nonsense. <sighs> All right, never mind then. Carry on. I'll just carry on my merry way and try and find a road into the heart of the wasteland over here. I'm running out of time, but this has potential. Turns out me fucking about leads to good things. What is my loot stage in here at the moment? Actually, it's 245. That is pretty... Mm -hmm. That is some exceptionally good shit. A tier 6 steel shovey. Wait, well, I, that might be an early celebration. We know how tier sixes are often worse than tier fives. What are you doing? You're doing 109 for a cost, a cost of 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold your, hold your bloody horses. I'm finding good gubbins. I'm getting excited about it. So you modify that one. What are you doing? 99 compared to 109. Chalk and cheese, lads. Chuck it in and celebrate the day. Oh. Can I buy? There's a bloody water balloon walking around out there. Well, I'm just gonna put you out of your misery and help everyone else out. Oh, I gotta hit his head though, which is like not there, not there either. Oh shit! I've picked a fight with a lot of them now, and I don't have my pistol on me. Oh, everyone's out here. Everyone's out here. I'm not excited about the proposition coming down on me. Wait up! Nope. Nope. Still no. Fuck, they're all cruising in. This is bad. This is bad. How do I kill this fucking thing? Come on. There we go. Finally. Most rigid water balloon I've ever seen. I'm struggling. There's a lot. No. Nope. Oh, shit. Oh, get up and run, dickhead. You got a copper kebab. Just missed it, though. I kind of didn't get on my bike and just run. <laughs> didn't stop moving. Just started firing. Yeah, this is the... Oh, God. Oh, they're, they're on top of me, bike. Um, guys, I, if you wouldn't mind, I can't leave that bag. See, I try and do a good thing. I try and rid the world of one radioactive water balloon that's spewing filth all over the gap. And this is how you reward me. But I suppose I'm getting crowded by fans. This wasn't what I had in mind. We can finally go. It only took me eight years to kill all the zombies, but it is what it is. There's a vulture coming for me, but I do not have time to stop and squawk at ya. I'm heading. Oh, there's a ranger station just there. I mean, there's a ranger station. That means there's probably a. Oh, there is a path right there, but it's leading back into the pine forest, which is not what I wanted to do. Mm, no, but the pine forest reaches in there pretty well. There's a good little tendril rocking out over there. Just keep on going. We'll find a road eventually, even though it's already night time. I can see through the burnt out trees. Oh, that's a tree stump. Uh, there is definitely a town right there. So we've got to, unless the, the pine forest magically wraps around, oh, the, the wasteland goes that way. So we do have a wasteland city. That is exceptionally good for me. Where There's a there's a bloody Woodle's grain over there. We're going to live there uh, this time around. I'm going to try and find somewhere new to put down mistakes. Although I don't really, oh, there's a, Refinery? I did like the refinery last time I went through it, but I don't think this time either. Let's try and find somewhere a little bit elevated off the ground that I can start calling home, at least for a couple of days. Searching the skyline. Oh, would you shut up? There is definitely something over there. Let's cruise through here. Watch out for landmines up over the really aggressive gutter. What are you? Oh, the hand radios. I... Yeah, okay. Oh, oh there's, a, there's a zombie dog on the scent as well. I don't really have a whole lot of options because I've run out of time. I need to clear the area, clear the joint. Pray to God no zombie bears show up, which I didn't consider until this this moment. Zombie bears getting here will be really bad news for me. Oh, what's that one, though? Oh, what's that one, though? Skomo, go away. No, nope, I've got other things on my mind that aren't you for a change. JD Shipping. Okay, JD Shipping Joint. There's like a little office at the top of that tower, which I'm very excited to go and make my own. Oh, there's another water balloon waddling over this way as well. Hold on. There's so many zombies out here. Like, I want to kill you, but I also don't want to wake everybody up and alert them to my presence. I don't think I can do both. We are a little bit further away than I think I need to worry about. I might get away with it. Quickly stop me, Gogs. Check you for nothing as usual. 
All right. Well, let's do what I can to try and make this place safe and get up the top and make it mine. There's a soldier coming through the window. Hold your horses, please. Let me just... <sighs> you bitch! Missed the shot completely. Ooh, that was nice and clean. No, so the crossbow actually can one hit kill even like stronger enemies like that. So that's got better, higher damage even without um, stealth damage than my rifle has. I mean, she cobs it like a champion right in the face and got back up again asking for seconds. Well, I mean, I'm a given man, so I'll give you a second run around if you ask me nicely. No, missed that one. I need to, I need to kill some of these zombies because they're everywhere. Old man needs to die. Hold on. Right. Oh, shit. Hold on. Shit. Oh, good dodge. Gonna move quickly to try and get it working. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's scary. So scary. Charge me down like the cholesterol sneaking up on me to give me a heart attack when I don't want it. All right. It's half past eight. There's still... Oh, there's still a lot around here. Let's get this on for a wandering horde or something shows up and try and clear this shit out. Ooh, there's some good gubbins out the back here. Soldiers too, but that's all right. There's a lot of materials. A lot more materials than I was really expecting, to be honest. Maybe I should be looking for bloody JD shipping warehouses when I'm looking for materials rather than other places. That's really good. Okay, um, you guys are all coming through. Go away. And you go away as well. I'm going to stay on top of the zombies wandering in. I should be all right, but there's so many zombies out here. My frame rate is toast. Oh, God. Oh, it's one of those things. Um, oh, I don't have any ammo loaded than my crossbow. Oh, hitting a headshot's going to be a real pain in the dick anyway. Come on. Right. No, not there. Do I just, like, charge in and start stabbing and hoping for the best? Oh, so scary. So scary. I hate those things so much. I'm so used to be able to, like, just pop them from range and not really worry about it. When I get close and corners with me, I, uh, I do panic quite considerably. My frame rate is soupy. All right, let's just get upstairs. Let's get upstairs. There's too many zombies on the ground level. I've got to keep pushing on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that just made all the skin under me beards tickle a little bit because all my hair stood up on end. A suppressor schematic? Use you. Oh, that's going to be so good. How many... Actually, I'm a little bit further up off the ground now, so I think I'm okay from all the mon uh, monsters down below. So I now have a suppressor mod. You. Do I have any other mods I can make to go into my rifle? I can't put the extended mod mag in there. Uh, extended mod? Extended mag mod in there. That's the right way to say that. Retracting sock mod, though. If I get both of those and whack in the lever action, that might be the difference. Now, annoyingly... The suppressor actually takes away a little bit of damage. But what's more important to me? Being able to murder people from distance nice and quietly in two shots or killing them very loudly in one? I actually don't know the answer to that. I'll figure it out at some point. Knight has fallen across the wasteland. It looks very ominous out there. So look at that. If I had that suppressor, I could just like go, oh, look at him. He's sitting there pretty waiting for it as well and jiggling his big thick booty at me. Let's go bang and then bang. Kill him in two, and no one would even know. that the zombies dropping left and right, and no one could do anything about it. We're almost there. They're almost to the tippy top. Let's finish off the last couple of little, like, haunted corners. Ooh. Oh! Wait. Oh. Okay, there's a lot of zombies down there. I was going to say, like, my frame rate kind of got better when the night uh, fall came in, but I guess it's because all the zombies that were out there died at the night time. There's a couple of god bags waiting for me, but lots of sol uh, <laughs> lots of soldiers, lots of zombies waiting for me too. Look at them all lurking down there, just waiting for me to make a mistake. If there was ever a time for me not to panic and use a gun, it was now. If I rattle off around, everyone's gonna know I'm here. Oh, what? It's not a. Mm, it's not a little office. Well, I mean, it could be. It could be my office. If I break apart some of these chains or whatever, I could make this my own little area. Does that encourage me to go down? Hang on. Jump to there. And down here, is there loot to be gotten? <laughs> the zombies seem to think so because they're coming thick and thin to try and protect it. Oh, shit. <laughs> How am I so... I, I walked off the edge, panicked, tried to walk back. If I hadn't kept going, hadn't committed, would have been fine. If I hadn't done it in the first place, would have been fine. Instead, I just threw myself down a freaking elevator shaft. 
So there's like, there's nothing here. This is just, this is just all it is. It's an empty remnant, I guess. But if it's empty, it means it's right for the picking. So this is about to be my home. Uh, I'll put down some blocks around so I don't fall down again. I'm not going to be able to like upgrade these and make it completely Muppet proof. But I'll do my best to make it a little bit proof from my worst efforts. There and then around that side soon. And that one. So I want to get like rid of the chain, maybe put like a roof or something like that, make it a little bit better to live in. But I guess, I guess this is my new home. I guess this is my new digs. It's risky, but I'm going for it anyway. Get rid of the chains, make short work of it with my super duper axe. That's probably considerably stronger. That one's not though. Okay, I can fill you up. That's fine. So I'll get rid of those blocks there and just make it a nice even floor for me. And then probably fix the roof. That's going to have to wait. It's also now going to take over in day 32. We're going to have day 32, 33, and the beginning of day 34. I think if I leave here at day 34 at lunchtime, I can get back and spend all day of, uh, of day 35 even, making any upgrades to the horde base I can, making any AP ammo. Fingers crossed when I get back there as well. Now I have to like set aside some time. But I don't mind this. It's high up, up, up off the ground. It's away. It's isolated. It's good. Going to whack in a campfire right in the middle of it, though, so I can have a little bit of light to both dry myself off because I'm damp as fuck right now. Turn you on. Get me sizzling. Keep me nice and warm. I know it's like, you know, making me a little bit more visible, but if I stand undercover, stand relatively near you, only 6% visibility, so no one's going to know that I'm here. As the thunderclap is in the distance, and I can just take solace in the fact that I made it to the wasteland without Karknet on the way here. But I'm going to have to leave this episode here and start my grand wasteland adventure in the next episode, because this episode is done. But that looks really like, I really like the look at this. It really is aesthetic, so I'm going to turn off my heart for a moment. So thank you guys for watching. First of all, thank you to the page, the Patreon, who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.